All right, hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video on the Torn of the Golden Country. Uh, I just beat this game. I actually beat it um, sometime yesterday. Uh, it was I don't remember if it was midnight or one in the morning, but uh, yeah, I got pretty far toward the end to a point where they asked if you want to continue, and I'm like, okay, so this got this is it. This is the final match. So you know, I did as much as you could in this game. Uh, you know, I tried doing as many side quests as I can. I think I finished most of them. There may be one or two that I just didn't find or didn't know how. But uh, at least in the community level thing, I managed to do all the ones that were like highlighted. Uh, I did not finish all the affinity charts. I may have complete. I think I only completed gins, but the rest, you know, I had like maybe two or three things left to do. But at that point, I just I was like, you know what? Let me just finish this game and get it over with. Uh, not that the game was dragging out or anything, no, it's just, there's other stuff that is, that's coming out that I want to play, and I just don't want to abandon this without finishing it first. But, uh, yeah, no, um, really, really cool b uh, battle at the end against Malos, that was, uh, that was really cool. At first it was easy, and I'm thinking, that's it? And then, and then when it became, uh, phase two, that's when it, uh, it got a little more challenging, but still really, really epic, really cool fight. And, um, uh, pardon, sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, great game, really, really great music. The music is just as good as it is as, it, as the base game. Art style is cool. Um, uh, the game runs really good. I, I know Xenoblade 2 was kind of buggy at, at the beginning. You know, it didn't have the, uh, it had a pretty choppy frame rate and low resolution. Uh, the game looks great, but it, it kind of ran a little poorly. This game, for what it's worth, I didn't have any issues running it. Um, the only time there was ever pop-in was when you started your save file. Um, there was like pop-in for a few min a few seconds. But then once everything's like out and about, um, the game runs fine. That's only when you boot up your save file, honestly. But uh, yeah, no, this game looks incredible. It ran way better than the base game. Um, I don't know if they, they managed to, you know, work around that. Uh, but hopefully... If they can maybe one day put out a patch for Xenoblade 2 that improves performance, that'd be great too. I mean, I beat Xenoblade 2 at it in its early, early uh, build. Uh, before all the patches came out for it, so... The game probably does run better by now, but back when I first played it in the first month, it, it did run a little poorly. Great game still. But yeah, I know this prologue game to the base game was really, really good. Um, I grew attached to the cast, everybody was really cool. Uh, my favorite character is still Laura. She's she's really really cool, um, really sweet, really nice character. Um, another favorite character of mine was Milton. If you've played this game, you know who he is. And um, yeah, no, I, I really miss a little guy. Really really fun little character. And uh, yeah, really really short game in comparison to the base game. This game took me roughly thirty hours to beat, uh, give or take. I tried to do everything you could in it. There's a few challenges that are to do, you know, fight a fight a unique monster or you know complete complete the community uh, levels to max. Uh, I got up to like community level five, but uh, yeah, no, for what it's worth, a uh, really really good game. Um, you know, honestly, this this can be a standalone game if 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 you don't want to play the base game, you can just play this game standalone. I think would still be really really enjoyable. Um, this, if, if I were to compare it to Fire Emblem, this would be like the Thracia 776, while Xenoblade 2, the base game, would be Genealogy of the Holy War. Um, you know, both are pretty much taking place in the same continent, same story, some same characters, but still, you know, you can play them separately as well, too. But, uh, yeah, no, hopefully, um, hopefully with the success of Xenoblade 2 and, you know, Definitive Edition when that comes out, Xenoblade 1, um, hopefully we can maybe get remakes of the older games. Uh, maybe if they can get Xenosaga and compile all three volumes into one, that'd be really cool. Because I hear that one of the characters from that game appeared in, in Xenoblade 2 as a uh, unlockable rare blade. I think it was Cosmos. And um, and hopefully, because when I finished this game and while the credits were scrolling, I noticed that a, a lot of uh, Square Enix uh employees were involved in this project so hopefully whoops sorry hopefully uh hopefully if those two uh two companies can cooperate they can actually manage to maybe make a remake of xenogears 
Um, all the mech fights that you see in this game and in the base game is really cool. It makes me makes me hopeful that one day we'll get a Xenogears remake. That would be really, really cool. Um, I don't see it happening, but you know, one can hope. With all the success of these remakes that have come out in the past couple of years, Resident Evil, and Secret of Mana, Trials of Mana, Final Fantasy, um, you know, Fire Emblem got a couple of remakes. You know, it's not out of the realm of uh, possibility. And uh, and maybe if not that, can we at least get a port of Xeno, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X from the Wii U? I don't think that game did too hot in the Wii U, but you know, it got a really good reception. So hopefully, if they can port that game over to the Switch, that'd be really cool as well. But uh, yeah, no, for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, this game and the base game, um, great. You can play them standalone, one or the other. You can play them both, like I did. Um, I mean, if you really have the time, you should you should play both. But if you have time to spare, if you don't have too much time, play this one. Fairly short campaign. Um, if you have a lot of time, which I guess everyone in the U in the world does at this point, um, you can play the base game. Honestly, I don't think it matters which in which order you play them really. Um, for a new person, I'd say you probably want to play this because it's fairly short. If you've played a Xenoblade game, um, I guess you can start with the base game, then play this one later, just so you could connect the uh, connect the dots to see how the story really pans out. But yeah, no, this game was really fun. I liked it. Um, I wish I'd played it sooner. I don't know why I abandoned it the first time around, but uh, really cool. Um, even if you don't even want to play it, I'd say you check out a couple Let's Plays if you can find any online. On YouTube, I'm sure there's plenty of them. Um, the voice actress for Mithra and Pyro, um, I think her name was Sky Bennett. I think that was her name. She has a YouTube channel and she also did a Let's Play of this and the base game as well. So it's really nice to see, you know, one of the lead actors um, do a Let's Play of a game they're in. Uh, a lot of uh, voice actors have been doing that lately and it's, it's always fun to watch. And uh, yeah, no, her um, her channel, uh, I think, is Sky Bennett as well. And yeah, she did a playthrough of the base game and uh, this um, prologue game as well. So yeah, check out her channel. Um, she's really, really cool, really, really nice. And uh, yeah, she's uh, she's really entertaining. It's fun to watch her uh, playthrough of this game. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Check out Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And look forward to the definitive edition of Xenoblade 1, um, Jolks story is also really cool uh, a lot of the characters in that cast are awesome as well um and yeah i hope you guys uh check out xenoblade any of them really you can start anywhere and yeah i'll catch you guys later have a good one